Greetings tubers, bookers, spacers, and tweeters out there. This is Chuck coming at you from my bathroom with another edition of Shower Curtain Movie Review where I go out to see a new movie that came out this past weekend and I see how it stacks up on the shower curtain rod using the shower curtain rings. Uh, one, I rate it with the shower curtain rings. One shower curtain, meaning it was terrible, and of course five shower curtain rings, meaning it was amazing. So, let's get to it. I meant to get this posted earlier, and I apologize for the late post anyway. So, I've missed out on a lot of, on reviewing a lot of movies this past summer, and I apologize for that. It's been a while since I've done one of these, and what better movie to pick up on with Shower Curtain Movie Review than a movie that came out this past weekend that Jamie and I got to see, and that is Piranha 3D. Okay, now of course this film is a remake of the 1978 film Piranha. Uh, and I saw the, the original film when I was younger. Uh, and I, I don't know, I just remember not being really impressed with it. I thought it was just a hokey rip-off of Jaws. And of course there was a sequel in 1981 called Piranha 2, which I never even bothered to watch that. But <clears throat> anyway, let's get down to it. Uh, Piranha uh, 3D came out, and uh, of course the story is about this uh, this town, this small town that's on this uh, this lake, and all these uh, spring breakers flock during there during the town to have a big hoopla and get drunk and party and crazy and whatnot and take their clothes off and just to have a good time. Well, uh, there is a big uh, like a volcanic. Not a volcanic, but like an earthquake or whatever that opens up this rift at the bottom of the lake, releasing these prehistoric piranha uh, out from under the lake beneath the lake, and the piranha to go ahead and terrorize all the people and all the you know, spring breakers and whatnot, causing a horrific bloodbath. So that's pretty much our story. Um, so let's talk about this movie. Um, now it's in 3D, and I'm going to go ahead and say that. Uh, first of all, the visuals uh, were really just amazing. Uh, aside from Avatar, this is probably the best looking 3D film that I've seen uh, ever. You know, uh, I would say Avatar would be number one, Piranha would of course be number two. It just looked really great. It had a really fun style to it. Uh, one thing that I really liked was the opening credits would come up. They would uh, have this kind of water thing with, uh, you know, like directed by. And that would come up, and it was just—it was just really fun looking. It was shot in a really fun style. Uh, the th like I said, the three D visuals looked really great. Uh, that being said, I was a little disappointed in the first half of the movie. The writing was was really hokey. Uh, you know, the acting was 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 okay, um, but the first half of the movie there really wasn't much that that went on, and I was just a little disappointed because the first half of the movie just consisted of Naked ladies, okay, uh, spring break naked ladies, you know, and then they'd show a little bit of the piranha and oh, let's just go back to the naked ladies, you know, and while, you know, nudity has its place in cinema, I think if done tastefully, that's great, but, you know, sometimes I just felt it went a little overboard with this movie. Um, overboard, no pun intended. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so, uh, yeah, but the second half of the movie, it really picked up, it really got intense, uh, it was really bloody, really horrific, uh, jaw-dropping stuff, and, you know, it definitely redeemed itself as a horror film, uh, by the, by the end of the movie, uh, just really intense, uh, stuff, um, a lot of, uh, couple of 1980s actors are in this. Elizabeth Shue is in this. Uh, you know, a lot of us had crushes on her growing up. Uh, Christopher Lloyd was in this, and I haven't seen Christopher Lloyd in anything in a long time, and he's, you know, he, he was, he, he just reminded me a lot of that Doc character from Back to the Future in this film, which I thought was, you know, kind of funny, and I guess they were trying to pay homage to that or whatnot, but he played this scientist who studied the piranha, and and it was just, it kind of made me feel old because Christopher Lloyd was like really old in this. And, uh, but it was good to see him. It uh, felt very nostalgic. Um, but yeah, overall, uh, like I said, uh, it looked really great. Uh, 3D was amazing, incredible, incredible visuals. I was just disappointed in the first half of the film. Uh, it just was just brainless and, you know, whatever. But in, in the end, 
it it picked up. So anyway, that's my review of Piranha 3D. Uh, go see this in theaters or or wait for a rental. If this weren't in 3D, I would say wait and, and rent this. But I definitely think the 3D visuals deserve a going to the theater and checking out. Um, and the ending of the film is, is really great too. Um, but because you know when, when 3D films come to DVD, I don't think they look that great on the small screen as they do on the big screen. So I would I would say if you're a horror fan and you know if you can sit through the first half of the film and try not to fall asleep, it definitely pays off in the end. And like I said, it looks great on 3D. So. Let's go ahead and see how Piranha 3D stacks up against the shower curtain rings. So, my review of Piranha 3D. I give Piranha 3D not one, but two shower curtain rings. Yes, two out of five shower curtain rings, Piranha 3D gets two out of five shower curtain rings. So, anyway, there you have it, my Shower Curtain Movie Review of Piranha 3D. I uh, hope everybody's having a great night, uh, and I will see you on the next post whenever, wherever that may be. Goodbye.